Alright, what's up guys? How's everybody doing? Got a whole new season here. Uh, Mid-Ohio, first race of the season. Uh, good news is all the sets from last season carried over. Uh, maybe just bumped the tire pressures up a little bit for the most part. Everything carried over. So a lot of the sets will be reusable. That being said, we didn't race at Mid-Ohio last week. so. And I'll work on a whole new setup, but I'm going to start with the Phillip Island setup. I got that out and after about five, six laps, it felt real good. So, probably put about 20 or so laps on it by now. Um, pretty warm weather here, 40, 40 degrees Celsius. So, I mean, that's like 115, something like that. 111 degrees Fahrenheit, it's 84, which is 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, pretty warm weather. A lot warmer than really I've seen all last season. I think I remember a warm session I did the track was around there, but yes, yeah, again, pretty hot weather. So, again, the setup in Ohio. I uh, run those laps I ran, all I did adjust for the tire pressures. Um, right now I'm liking around uh, 188 for uh, max temps. Um, I'm not sure if it's based off my last run, but sections. This left side compared to the right side, so we'll do another run, see how that feels, and then starting to get to the point where I want to start making bigger adjustments to the car. Um, right now it's kind of pushing in turn two, and uh, just kind of needs a little bit better rotation through the middle. But right now I'm just going to run some laps, get warmed up. All right, clear. He seems to be in a hurry. So. <laughs> uh, I've seen some humors do pretty good in this one, so I think this is a good track for the humors. It's maybe losing a little bit on that last little bit there, but it's just so there. It's not catching it too much. On the straightaway section, that's in his draft. Through here, I'm just keeping it all through second gear with three devices. Car on your left. Clear. Third gear. Yeah, I just don't know if I'm going to stay in third or in second. So I haven't quite figured that out. Try and stay as tight to that curve as I can. Still working on my line through there. There's just so many different lines you can take through the curve. So and here, fourth gear. Sorry, buddy. Faster. It's just it's one of those corners where it's kind of not turning the corner I want. It's kind of pushing through. Hi. Hello, guys. Hey. So it almost forces me to go down to third gear to get the car to go to It's like I'm just third gear to But I can get through third through fourth I'm going to get all this faster than I want. You mean? driver thing, I mean, it's just the nature of the, well, I'm trying to say it's just the nature of the track. The car is just going to get nice over there because it's got a lot of wheel on it, low speed corner, you're going up over the biggest crest in the track, things are going to happen. Just a little bit smoother if you can keep it on that inside curve. If you go out a half car with it, especially a car with it out, See, I'm really trying to be a little too patient. It's really hard to do that. Front end of grip a little bit better through there in the middle on entry. And 
here, it'll push a little bit too. Let's see how great now we're pushing. And you see, I'm in a public server. Yeah, that was a demo last last season. Well, something's changed since last season. Yeah, we now have a dynamic track, so we now have rubber actually being physically laid down on the track based off where my car drives on the track. Right? Exactly. It's not some pre programmed thing that so many cars drive over this certain part of the track at this rate, this much rubber will build up. It actually calculates the rubber from my tire, puts it into the track and gives you more grip. You can get to a point where the track gets rubbered in and then it starts creating marbles and if it's in hot weather the track can get too slick and uh, then the rubber can become a hindrance. So now I have to be in public servers because I need to be on tracks so that have cars running on them that have rubber. There's not going to be You've any got point a point practice on the left. Can't drop in the my head. own uh, private server because I'm not going to be able to, you know, simulate the race with the rubber being put down on the trap. Now there's, iRacing's allowed us to create certain percentages of rubber laid down on the trap, but it's not the same as the cars actually running on the trap. It's a, it's a more general line, it's, it's, a layer, it's a wider layer of rubber being laid down, but it's not being laid down as much. The car stops on the left. So, it's not the same. It's the only way to get the actual, what it's going to be like. You've got a slow car on the left. It's the practice and servers with a whole bunch of people. So, you'll be seeing me in actual public servers a lot more than the race pro. Very cool, man. Very cool addition to our race. Left side, clear on the left. I was able to link the apex of me in the very much just wishy washy. <laughs> Feels like gel already right out there. But it, around lap four or five, is so I don't know. Looks like on lap six. When the car starts to hook up a little bit, but I think this is the hottest weather I've been in, so I think that rear end's gonna feel a little bit worse than it has in other time. The first session I did was pretty cool, the second session I did was like around the track time. It was definitely warmer in the first session, I think this has been the warmest of the three. Actually, I don't think I know what the temperature was for the last one. Based off the lap times, I'd definitely say it was cooler in this one. Slow car on the right, car stop on the right, go left.
slow car on the right. Slide. Yeah, and then there's a new tire model because the car control is ridiculous now. You gotta be doing some pretty silly stuff to lose control. Alright. It's one second. I forgot. Now, what do we want to do? Click of this uh, toe out. It's negative toe in, so the tires are actually pointing out. And it just helps the car on a turn in in the uh, middle of the corner. Just gives the car more rotation. And when you turn into the corner, the inside tires always turn more than the outside tires, so it's always wanting to kind of you know keep that car rotating. So. Let's see if this uh, helps us out a little bit. Should just help us with more overall rotation in the front. Everywhere. It's kind of a <coughs> general change. Now stop on the right. Go left. Minute 30.951 Car on your left, clear, one minute, twenty three point four seven three. <laughs> Thank you. 
got a slow car on the right. I always look over the hood, <laughs> going over that bridge. I always look over the hood, like it's actually going to do something. Yeah, that's what I'm You've got a slow car on the left. Car stop on the left. Go right. One minute, twenty three point two four eight. So even there, I didn't turn in at the right time in the car, and the rotation bailed me out. The car kept rotating. Yeah, it's just absolutely planted. It. It's just too awkward. Up here, I'm kind of breaking around the 400 board. Every now and then, I'm breaking a little bit deeper. Now it's probably like a 390. on the left. Minute 22.774. See if there's still a little two offset to the left. Alright. I meant offset to the right. Higher pressure's on the right. That's alright. real quick. Alright, I'm going to try and soften up the springs. Just the right height. The right height was like 99.9, .9, so I'll <clears throat> go down and click on the rear spring perch. It's good enough. So, I just want to soften up the rear springs to uh, <clears throat> soften up the roll stiffness of the rear relative to the front so if you leave the front of the suspension alone that's all we're going to see you're going to have the same roll stiffness and you know it's going to roll the same amount at the same rate that's roll stiffness 
if you soften up the rear in relation, just keeping that the same, then in theory, in the, the car should have a little bit more understeer and should be a little bit more stable. So that's why I'm kind of softening up the rear end right now. Just trying to see if I can get away from that weird jello feeling that's going on. Some I've been finding lately that's because I have too stiff a rear spring. And I've been finding when I soften up the rear spring, gets rid of that jello feeling and just becomes really stable and really hugs the track. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to soften up that rear end a little bit so it's a little bit more stable on a, some corners on entry. It can be unstable. Other corners I can need a little bit more. So then there's also the track itself where you kind of need two different aspects. Some corners I do need to really actually turn a little bit better on entry. As far right as the concerned, clear, car right, clear. Right, clear corners I needed to stabilize a little bit, so we'll just make this adjustment. The only way you really know for sure is when we're there driving, so So, yeah. Car stop on the left. Go right. So far. Give it some more laps, but it's showing problems already. A lot less jello going through there, still can use more laps. One minute, thirty-four point seven six six. The uppers are going to experiment with one more click less of your spring and see how it feels. You got a slow car on the right. This is a good thing about being these public servers when you get to practice passing the cars and until you guys get to see some good record pointing skills. Right side. Clear on the right. Low car ahead, car stopped on the left. Go right. Nah, I'm not the Skittles Porsche. I'm not that Porsche. It's so much more stable through there now. And now I can turn into that corner with a little bit more confidence. Like before, every time I was turning in there, I was afraid the rear end was going to snap loose, so I wasn't really turning Car stop, as on the as left. I wanted to because I knew if I did, the rear end would just snap loose. Go so right. I can turn in a little bit harder and lean on the car a little bit more. Therefore, go a little bit faster. We still got to work on that a little bit, though. One minute, twenty-two point seven three eight. Fast as that. Go right. That's just like the uh, subconscious thing. Right side, clear on the right. Still happy over there, but it is more stable than it was before. It's got a really nice balance to it right now. This one's a little fine tuning at this point. I mean, of course, you can always experiment forever and ever and ever and still find more speed. I'm not saying that there's not more speed in this setup, I'm just saying right now. It's feeling pretty doggone good. So I turned that into like a big time decrease in radius corner and just kept slowing down more and more and more. I do that's a minute twenty two point five nine five to for it this time. Again, it's 
still wrapping like around all that curve. Let me see. Go left. A couple more laps here. Let's see how it feels a little bit later into the run. Let's see what I really like it right now. I will do more damper adjustments. Let's really try and get it on rails. So again, slow down more. Now what that does is it gives us the best angle possible with the second quarter. One minute, twenty right two, now, point kind of eight, two, nine. It's not exactly ideal if you try and keep it floored through there, car will try and buck you. I think I can adjust that with dampers so. out. Even in third gear, you just push too wide. I just want to see what it was like again there with taking a real cash when we still push too far wide. Then we can see all messed up for all this whole asses section. Which is a really fun section. So maybe you can get a better run in turn one, but honestly, turn one's not even really good to pass an opportunity unless somebody left makes side. a mistake. This is probably Still there. the Clear best on the left. pass. This corner and this corner coming up are the two best passing opportunities on the track. Everywhere else, you can push a new lock or somebody else has to make a mistake. But even these are hard to pass on. Especially now the cars don't have real big arrow and the arrow doesn't even really kick into like the last twenty percent of that straightaway anyway, so barely get a draft effect off. I mean you get it, but it's just it doesn't really do anything for you. If that straightaway was like another five hundred meters longer. Twenty-four point three six seven. I think I need to say thank you very much. All right, what am I doing? Let's do one more lap. Bring it in and check the uh, tires here. Let's see what they feel. I only do like two, three more laps because I kind of felt weird going through.
Oh, see that time I just carried too much speed, no matter what. Alright, lost about two, three tenths. One minute, twenty three point two one six. Then turn in in time, but again, the set kind of bailed me out. Car kept turning, wasn't that the world. If I would have done that with the previous setup I started with, I would have just gone straight off track. Car never would have turned. One minute twenty two point eight zero seven. So you use the second gear there, I think I like it. It just helps rotate the car a little bit better. It makes helps me make sure I'm at the right speed for the corner and then gets off the corner just a little bit better. It's just that awkward spot where it's right in between gears. One minute twenty two point seven seven four. You got a slow car on the left. Car on your left. Clear. sluggish in third gear of the rise and kind of pushes a little bit more and doesn't seem to want to go with the flow of the corner as much as it does when I get on second gear. So whenever I have two shots, one shot, minute, I'm twenty, awesome. three, point gear, three, two, just five. A bit, and that's just for stability purposes. I'm going to get the car to rotate just a little bit more. I thought it would be not really.
right side. That's not helping us. It's not helping us. I'm just gonna go up like that. That should help us out a little bit more. Alright, so that'll be it for now. Next video, I'll do some damper changes. If you guys want to experiment, um, probably what I'm going to do... Take, like, start with taking one click out of this front high-speed compression damping and see if it feels a little bit better over the uh, bumps, especially the bump on the second to last corner there that kind of unsettles the car and where else. Coming over the rise, over this corner right here. Right when you come over here, the car kind of leaps a little bit, so I want to take uh, a little bit of the spring out of it by taking that compression down. But first run some laps with it and then make the adjustment, see how you like it. And if it works, maybe go one more click and see how that works. And you can also experiment with the high speed rebounding too. Maybe go one more click on this and that'll just slow down the tire after it compresses. It'll slow it down as it's ex expanding from its compression at the high speed for the bumps. And that might just make it a little more uh, easier to drive around the track and just uh, conform to the track surface a little bit better so we can keep that tire contact onto the asphalt. All right, guys, well, that was the first video of the new season. There'll probably be about 50 more this season, so should be a fun season with the new tire model. I mean, easily the best tire model we've ever had that I've ever had since I've been on the racing. Uh, just the car control is pretty awesome. New surface model, add some dynamics. Not really going to see it in the sprint series, but you'll see it in my endurance races. And even in those, most of them for the pro series are going to be for three hours, so they're not going to be too much rubber getting laid down. But, alright, I'll see you guys later.